Hey guys, Omerko here, South Out Web Developer, and in today's video we will continue our Angular Material series with the Badge Component. Before we start with this video, you should know that on a Skillshare you can get many of my uh, web development tutorial and courses, but if you are someone that is not subscribed to a Skillshare, you will have a link down in the description of this video where you will get one month free for a Skillshare entire platform. But now, let's start with this video. <music> First of all, what is Badge Component? Well, Badge Component in web development is mostly used to well specify the number of notifications, for example. So, on your page, when you have a notification icon, usually we have that number over that icon. For example, here in my example that you can see, we have the icon of a bell for notifications and that small notification that we have for new notifications here. That red circle with our number 4 here would be our badge component. So for our badge component we will generate first of all our own custom component so NGGC which means uh, Angular generate component and we wish to, gen to generate our uh, component into components folder and we will call it a badge component. As you probably know by now here we will also store all of the components from Angular Material but in our custom components. So that way it will be much easier for us to work with those. So I will first of all open my uh, HTML here and I will comment out my autocomplete component. In the last video of this series we worked with the autocomplete component from Angular Material. So make sure to check that as well. In this HTML now we are able to use our own badge component. So first of all I will put the comment of badge component and I will use app badge which is our own custom component that we just generated. So here I will also put end of badge component. So if we wish to use the material badge component we will also need to import some of specific modules for that. So one of those modules will be our material badge module. So here I will first of all move this badge component above material components and here we will import mat badge module from at angular slash material slash badge. That's good enough. Just make sure to also import this mat badge module down in imports array. Also, I will show you the example with the icon, like for the notifications. So for that, we will also need this material icon module. So import mat icon module from at angular slash material slash icon. You see material itself, well, angular material holds also their own icons. So by importing this mat icon module, we will be able to use those icons from Angular material. But now let's go into our badge HTML file and use our badge for the first time. So here I will create first of all the paragraph. Let's also style this paragraph. I will move this paragraph with margin of 50 pixel, 0 pixel and I will put it in center with text align center. This paragraph will hold a span element. I mistyped this a bit. Let me fix this. Yeah. And this here will be just our text with a badge. So how can we use badge for our text for example? Well that's easy. We can pass mat badge property here and we can set it to something. That something can be for example our number like 2. There are different properties for example mat badge overlap which can be set to true or false. I will set this to false to not overlap my badge over my text. So if you would open up your localhost 4200 right now, you would see this text with badge and you would see this number 2 in a circle. That number 2 in a circle is our badge from Angular Material. That badge is once again mostly used for notifications. So after our paragraph, let's create another paragraph with now our mat icon. Mat icon is the element that we are able to use because we imported material icon module. For this paragraph, I will use style once again and I will put text align into center so we could move this icon into a center of our screen. First of all, to use icon from material, here we can 
pass some text like notifications. These notifications will now use that bell icon from material. So now to pass the badge into our uh, material icon, again we can use our math badge property attribute here and we can pass a number like 9 for example. Also we can specify the color for our math badge by passing math badge color and I will pass here warning color from uh, material and for example we can specify math badge size which will accept different properties like small, medium and large. But for this example let's use medium one. So now in my screen you can see this material icon of notifications, well bell icon and this medium badge on top right of it. If you would go now into documentation of this badge material component, you would see the overview of it, you would see the API, how can you use it by importing this uh, math badge module, and down below you will see all of the properties, well attributes, which will change that badge. So if you wish to customize your badge, you can use a color of it, you can set some kind of description, you can put, put the whole icon to be disabled, you can select the size of it, overlap of it and so on and so on and the last thing of it you would see the examples on text on for example a button and the icon that you just saw so if you are into angular and angular material you should definitely subscribe to my channel because i'm posting web tutorials specifically for that also as i mentioned in the beginning of this video you can visit my skillshare profile to get some of my skillshare courses if you are not subscribed to Skillshare, down in the description of this video, you can get one month free for a Skillshare platform right now. But this will be all for this video guys, thank you all for watching. If you liked what you saw, please click like and subscribe as I am posting new content weekly. Thank you once again and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.